What is up? Today we're doing a podcast review for a Mark Savant Media fan. We're going to be looking at what we like, what can be improved, and how this person can just explode their podcast and reach more and more people on a daily basis. I'm excited. You're excited. Let's get into it. Hey, by the way, if you want free tips, tools, and tactics, make sure you subscribe to the show and leave a comment below. How can I help you reach more people in 2020 and beyond? All right, let's get into this podcast review. So today we are going to be reviewing the Uncle Sonny podcast by my man T-Spice. I actually found T-Spice on TikTok where he is absolutely crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. So that's a quick tip before we even get into the podcast. One of the best ways that you can get noticed is by being on other social media platforms and by being active. His TikTok channel is excellent. He's got over 50,000 viewers, he gets tons of likes. So that's a good place you can drive traffic. So let's take a look at this podcast here first. So we can see that it's currently being hosted on Anchor, okay, which is a free platform. I just recorded a video a few days ago on that. You can see that information here. Personally, not a huge fan of Anchor, but there are some benefits to it. So let's look at this. The Uncle Sonny Podcast is the name. So the first thing I want to point out with the name is this is not a searchable name, okay? This, this show is all about conversations that explore the mind of an entrepreneur. While I love the topic, and I, lo I love that uh, vibe, this is not a searchable term. So there is there are no keywords in the title. Listen, a perfect title is incredibly difficult to come across. But when you have a title that's not searchable, you're missing out on traffic. If someone goes, I'll give you a perfect example. When I'm looking for a new podcast to listen to, what do I do? I go into Spotify, I go into Apple, and I type in the keyword I'm looking for. Maybe I want to learn about podcasting, marketing, entrepreneurship. I'm going to type that in. And unfortunately, our friend T. Spicer here, he ain't going to show up because the Uncle Sonny podcast is not searchable. So that's something I think you want to think about. I typically don't recommend adding the word podcast into the actual title of your show because it's it's almost redundant in a way, right? It's a, it's a podcast. So I don't necessarily know that having the word podcast in there is helpful. Um, I might do something like Uncle Sonny's Entrepreneurs or something. That way, if someone does type in entrepreneurs, you have a chance to, sh to show up. So that's my first thought there, okay? Uh, what else do we have here? So the icon here. So first off, if this is indicative of uh, T-Spice's uh, personality, it's great. So I, I love the picture there. It's, it's super cool. Um, I I like that the word live is in red. Um, there's There are a couple problems here with this logo though, okay? And so the first of, of which is that um, the Uncle... So, so first off, the name of the show isn't actually in here. The Uncle Sonny... Uncle Sonny is really what we're looking for, but the Uncle Sonny project is not the same as the actual title. Um the other in the big the biggest problem here is that this type is way too small for a title. Okay, when you're looking on something like Spotify or iTunes and you you have a snap decision to make with the visual element of your of your show art, no one is going to be able to read conversations that explore the mind of an entrepreneur. You're just not going to be able to read it. Um, also, you've got yellow text on a white background. There's not enough contrast there. I can barely read what the name of this show actually is. So um, if if I was to give a couple quick tips on this, I'd probably enlarge the picture of Sonny because it's just a great picture. That, that is, to me is a very, very compelling image of Sonny, right? Um, but I would try to expand more or be more clear as to what the name of the show is and make it in bigger letters. Something like, you know, again, entrepreneurs with like a mind, you know, and look, show art is really difficult. It can be really challenging, but just to kind of put some closure on this, you're not going to be able to read conversations that explore the mind of an entrepreneur when it's in a tiny, tiny uh, icon on your mobile phone. You're especially not gonna be able to read the Uncle Sonny project. So those are a couple uh, small tweaks that I would make to that. Make it, make it bigger. So let's read the description here. Welcome to the Un Uncle Sonny Live Project, where we host conversations with business owners to better understand the mind of an entrepreneur. We will learn all about what he says is the best mindset for a business owner to have and how to obtain it. Um, so I'm guessing this is saying, hey, we're going to learn all about what T-Spice says. Um, so there's a couple things that I would do here. Um, a, 
I would add more keywords. You, you, we do have the word entrepreneur. We do have the word business. We have business owner. So we're doing a pretty good job. We have mindset also. So we're doing a pretty good job of keywords. I would probably try to add more keywords in there. Uh, uh, mindset, positive mindset, how that um, can improve your business itself. But I would try to add some more keywords. Um, welcome to the Uncle Sonny Project. I don't hate this, but um, I think the key here is that the real estate from your title in the first few words of your description are incredibly important. That real estate is precious. You want to make sure you're getting across your your value proposition as quickly as possible. So he does a good job in this description of explaining what the what the show is about. It's about conversations with business owners um, and a pretty good job of what the value is for the listener. We will learn about what he says the best mindset is for business owners. Um, a couple things I would I would like to see in here. A, who is T-Spice? Why should I care, right? Give us a little bit, maybe a, a, a short sentence about why I should care about what T-Spice has to say, right? What's your experience with entrepreneurship? What's your experience with building a business? Who are the guests that are on your show? Um, try to create a little bit more social proof in your description. Overall, I don't hate the description, but that's a thing that I might tweak. Um, try to be a little bit more clear um, because you, you also have to understand there are a lot of entrepreneurial podcasts out there. There's a lot of business mindset podcasts. How is this different? Is it different because of T-Spice? Cool, your personal brand matters. But if I don't know who T-Spice is, why should I care? So that would be something that I would look at uh, look at doing. So let's take a quick look here. Let's listen on Spotify. Let's take a look at this. Again, we're looking pretty good here. I see, let's look at the, um, the posting frequency, July 30th, July 23rd. July, so we've got good posting consistency for the month of July. Uh, June, we slipped off the map a little bit. I mean, listen, life gets in the way, so I understand you generally want to be as consistent as possible with your podcast. I recommend weekly or bi-weekly, but try to be as consistent as possible. So let's take a look at his, his Apple Apple podcast channel also. So here's something that I would just quickly, I would quickly point out. There's only two ratings on here. When you're starting a new podcast, you really want to push ratings and rankings in Apple, in iTunes, because that's where a lot of people listen to their podcast. I find that roughly 50 to 60% of my traffic comes from iTunes and Apple. So you really want to focus on getting your ratings up. I actually have an entire video on how you can really boost your ratings and your rankings. I'll have a link for that for you right here. So make sure you check that out. That is absolute gold, absolute gold. Now we don't have enough time to listen to an entire episode, but one of the things that I find are really important is the hook. So I'm going to pull up Sonny's podcast on my phone here. We're just going to listen to the hook real quick, see how that sounds. Follow along with me. What's going on, everybody? It's your guy, T-Spice, with the Uncle Sonny Project on a mission to inspire one million people to have the guts to follow their guts. And you're now tuned into the Uncle Sonny Podcast, where we have conversations with thought leaders, creatives, and entrepreneurs all about the mindset shifts you need to make if you're looking to move from employee to entrepreneur to entrepreneur. So grab a pen and paper and be ready to catch these gems as they drop from your speakers or your headphones. So let me just say that I think that is an awesome awesome intro. He's quick. Within 30 seconds, you know exactly what the value proposition is. But I just want to highlight that what he's talking about on his on the introduction to a show is different from the description and what I'm reading here. I'm seeing up here conversations that explore the mind of an entrepreneur. I'm seeing down here, uh, uh, we host conversations with business owners to better understand the mind of an entrepreneur. So that's, that's in line. But what we're talking about here is how you can go from being an employee to an employer. What we're talking about here is developing the mindset to, to to have the guts to make moves. I honestly, I think that the intro is way, way more powerful and strikes me better in a much more powerful and emotional way than the description. So uh, one of the things I would say is make sure you got a great intro and make sure that it's linked up uh, correctly with all your messaging. That's one of the common challenges I see with people that are growing something new. They're, all, they're oftentimes changing the messaging around. I'm guilty of this as well. We should always be looking to get synonymous messaging. Try to get it as synonymous and in uh, in in co as coherent as possible. 
I hope you liked today's episode. I just love what T-Spice is doing here. What else did you see that you think could maybe improve? What could you improve in your podcast? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe because I'm telling you, you do not want to miss the value bombs, the top tips, tools, and tactics that you could employ to explode your message, reach more people, and be successful in 2020 and beyond. With all that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will catch you next time. Peace.